How you doing, beautiful people? Salim Messiah here, host of Necessary Conversations. Thank you guys for all your support so far. I really appreciate it. It doesn't go unnoticed. If you watch Benny's episode of Slim TV with me featuring on now, I told you guys merch is coming soon. It's here. We got colors in red, blue, black, and yellow. If you want to buy one, support a brother at King underscore underscore Messiah on Instagram or at AIC on air on Instagram as well for the AIC Radio Instagram page. Support a brother. Kid with me. Necessary conversations, baby. Appreciate y'all. Welcome back to Necessary Conversations. I'm your host, Lee Messiah. I got my guy. Yo. Logan Koval. How we doing? Chilling, bro. Finally, it took a, bro. Man, it took a while to get you in here. A little minute, bro. You, you busy. I'm be a busy man. Bro, like when you, you know what I'm saying, when you were, when you were what, the true sophomore? I'm a busy? freshman, bro. You were, you were a last year? Nah, bro. I didn't. I didn't go to school. My uh, the first. So I graduated two thousand twenty-two. Yeah. I didn't go to uh college straight out of high school. Yeah, but I'm saying last year you was a freshman. Like last semester. Yeah. Yeah. So now, by the time this come out, you are gonna be a sophomore. Basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So you yeah, a yeah. sophomore. You know what I'm type saying shit, you, type you, shit. You, you know, that's what happened. You a true sophomore. You, you know just mean? the the level and the expectations is high, bro. Just how you doing? Chilling, bro. You know what I'm doing, like. Football, school, keeping yeah. busy, bro. Yeah. Keeping busy, bro. How you you from C T. Yeah. So, knock on C T is football ain't football out here. What you talking about? That's what people say. Like when people say C T football, mass football, they don't put it in the hobby. They're not they're not taking it serious. They not. So what's your take on that? I mean, you know, we got stars here and there. Yeah. That, you know, my boy Tyler Booker there in Alabama. You know yeah. what I'm saying? My boy Ellis Robinson over there in Georgia. Yeah. Champ Long, you know, Maryland. You know, we got stars here and there. Champ Long from CT? Yeah, from New Haven, bro. Okay. Yeah, he I just went over there Jersey. to... Uh, okay. Nah, he just Jersey. transferred over there. Nah, because he went okay. to Bergen... Or no, he went to uh, St. Peter's. St. Peter's, yeah. yeah. Yo, I know you from Nah, he from New Haven. Yeah, I grew up with him, bro. Okay. Yeah, me, him, and Booker type shit. I got a boy, Jaden. He over there in Franklin Pierce. Feel me? Chip Long, right? Yeah. It's your boy. You can send it to him when you see this. Look. Okay. I took my little brother to one of the Zone Sits camps. Okay. We sitting in the car waiting for them to, you know what I'm saying, open the joint up. Champ Long, get out the car. Mm -hmm. I, you see everybody else got the, you know what I'm saying, their athletic gear on, they ready. They look locked in. I know what you're going to say. Champ Gear came out, <laughs> pajamas on, Gucci slides, headphones. Hat backwards. I, I tapped my little brother. I said, nope. He's a, they already like he he's gonna win everything like he's it's, real. it's already set up for him to like he's good he's real you know what I'm saying like he, he <laughs> they he's already the guy he's, he's who's yeah. supposed to you know what I'm saying get he, him since seventh grade he was him for me really seventh grade he was him as so, soon as I go on his own sits page and then he, he, he to, and then he reclassed did he what, what grade he reclassed uh, so he was in my grade mm -hmm. and I was going into eighth grade year and he stayed a seventh in seventh grade okay I'm like I go on his own sits Instagram page I'm like yo looking at it. He won the MVP, offensive MVP, but then I, I, he they tagged him, so I click his page. St. Peter's, there it go, Maryland, there it go. I, I said, bro, I, look, I looked at him. <laughs> look, everybody got their cleats you, you, on, you know shoes. He came out with Gucci slides. I know he, what he here for. Out there playing with little boys. It's a man amongst boys. Man. I already knew what he was on. I already knew what he was on. What got you on the football though? Man, I, my mom and dad, yeah. they threw me into football, basketball, and baseball when I was six years old. Mm. So I started playing flag football when I was little. And then I was always an aggressive kid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, even when I was doing flag football, my dad told me to stiff arm. Yeah. I was stiff arming kids in the ground and shit. They trying to in grab flag my... flag football? Yeah. It... Kids stiff arm people. <laughs> like, I, is that even right? Like, you're supposed to run past You know, feel me? Like, like, kids coming to grab the flag. Nah, sit down. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm going to the house. Well, you was playing running back back then? Yeah, running back and quarterback. Quarterback. Man, I played quarterback all the way up until I was a freshman in high school. Really? Yeah, and then they moved me to receiver and safety. Receiver and safety. Bro, I was a skinny kid up until like senior year, high school, junior year, high school. Really? Bro, I was always like 180, 185, 6'2, 6'3. What changed it? I'm, uh, I had a trainer. Yeah. So you wanted to get like bigger? I wanted to stay receiver. I saw myself catching touchdowns, running routes for yeah. me. And I got a, when COVID happened, I got a trainer and he basically broke it down to me. Like he told me straight up. I think you're better at defense than offense. And yeah. If you put all your game towards defense, I think you're gonna go to the next level. Yeah. But I was a safety at the time, but he told me with your with your size, with your frame, you can really get up there. My dad's a big dude, my grandfather's a big dude. So I just started hitting the weights and eating. And then before you know I hit I was one seventy five, I hit two hundred. 
How long does it take you to do that? Two, three months. Really? 200, 210. Yeah. 210 to 215. And then I was in junior year, and I played junior year in Texas. You know, I was like 205, 210. And then that off season right there, I got up to like 225, 230. Mm. I got pretty big. And ever since then, I was just addicted. I was addicted to the weight room, addicted yeah. to just getting better. People called me a psychopath. <laughs> Why school. they call you that? Bro, I'm, I was always in the gym, bro, yeah. and always on the field, always trying to do something. And I'm a big – people call me – my dad called me a meathead because I'm always trying to lift heavy weights and shit. But. Yeah, that's <laughs> what they call him. Yeah. You, so you mentioned you played your junior year in Texas. How would you get from – like what age did you go from Connecticut to Texas? So um, I went to Torrington High School in Connecticut my yeah. freshman and sophomore year. Um, You know, got into a little – little mix up my sophomore year <laughs> yeah. so yeah. you know i had to uh ended up transferring to bloomfield high school yeah. but COVID happened feel me so i never went i was going there i was taking online classes feel me um and then basically when those rumors started coming out about football not happening down here that trainer that i had gave me an idea he had some dudes down there in texas you know what i'm saying he plugged it up he told me and my dad he said if you're willing to do this if you're willing to, want to play football he said i can get us down there and we could play a year, a year or two of Texas high school football. Mm. I talked to my dad, and my dad was like, "If you want to do this, let's do it." Yeah. I moved to Texas in a week. Yeah. Heard about it, I'm like, "Like you really moved, bro?" He he told me, my boy Aaron, and my boy Jaden and Rico mm. about this all in one day. Yeah. I went home. Me and my dad talked to my mom. Eight nine days, we had a flight booked. We was out there to Texas. They drove three days after that. They was there before me. Mm. They was like there five days before me. Yeah. Mm. Did you ever think like, because you know what they say about Texas high school football. Like, is it supposed to be real? Did you ever think like, oh, I'm about to go to Texas? I had doubts. Yeah. I'm not going to lie because, yeah, a lot of people talk crazy about Texas high school football, you know what I mean? But. I mean, I always rose up to the occasion no matter what it is in my life. So yeah. I always knew I feel God, bro. I, yeah. I'm going out yeah, there and I'm, I'm doing my thing no matter what. So yeah. I just made the best of what I could do of it. Yeah. What, what class you played in? I know it was 6A, 5A. Uh, four, like 4A. 4A. Yeah, we was 4A. Mm. My, the, the year before I got there, there was 5A, and they lost in the fifth round. Mm. And then uh, they went You get four. demoted down there? No, we. it was like the cl- it, it goes by classes. Okay. So, like, the class that was – Coming into the school yeah. was like way smaller than like. So you can get demoted off your class size in one year. Yeah. So there's schools like there's schools like, say you have like a bunch of kids in each class, yeah. and then like this like a tw- what's the freshman class coming in like 2028. 20, yeah. You know? Say they're coming in, they got like 300 kids. That's gonna affect your population. It it can bump your division down. Really? Yeah. Because in like Jersey, it go by your school size, but you don't really never get demoted. Oh no! Nah, yeah. Now nah, you go. You can go up and down. It, 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 it'll be that's a process. That's like fun. It'll be a, it, it could be a process, but, like, for me, like, some teams, it'll take, like, one or two years. Yeah. But my school, it took, like, one year. Like, that class came in, and it was small as hell, so. That could be fun because now you're playing different teams, playing different dogs. You ain't playing the same Tougher teams. Yeah, yeah. Tougher teams. That could be fun. Yeah, for it, I know 6A, they say, you know, 6A is the powerhouse yeah. division. But, dude, there's dogs all the way to 2A. Yeah, I believe it. Like, there's believe there's teams it. that we played that were 2A that I was like, what? Like, yeah. These dudes are like six hundred kids go to your school. Like yeah. what are you talking about? So you get down to Texas. What's like your first like day there? Hot. Like yeah, Hot. <laughs> humid. You from? Cause you from? Humid. Yeah, yeah. Boy, let me tell you something. First workout, I was thrown up. Really? And it wasn't even crazy. I ran like five hundreds. Yeah. So I thrown up. I'm like, oh, I don't know, coach. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna work, man. My dad's in there, like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. What are you doing? I'm like. There's humidity. Yeah. It's crazy down there. Then they have a thing called pipes yeah. that they do at my high school. It's crazy, man. It's like a whole week of like boot camp, like crazy drills, a whole bunch of spinning, like mm. what's um what are they called? Uh mat drills. Okay, yeah. Whole bunch of stations of mat drills, monkey bars. Monkey there's bar. there's pipes where you gotta like crawl on all fours. This is the, the army of football. Yo, bro, I'm telling you, bro. The first year I got there, I came a little late, so I so we didn't have to do it. Yeah. Thank Jesus, because I was walking. Yeah. But senior year, you wasn't ready for that. I wasn't ready for that. People yeah. was talking crazy. I'm like, man, I'm that dude. Like, yeah. 
people tell me, oh, no, no, people quit. every. Okay, yeah. let's do it then. Yeah. Second station, I'm over there, my head's spinning. I'm throwing up. I'm I'm like, I'm taking my helmet off. They're screaming yeah. at me. I was like, damn. Yeah. So I found out real quick, bro. That's so deep. I found out real quick, bro. That's so deep. Because, I mean, you go into Texas, like, you think, like, all right, you know, you got to do this. This is a regular workout. I've been doing this all my life. But the heat. The heat plays a yeah. huge part, bro. Yeah. Then you got to keep up with people that's used to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't. Yeah, it's probably a little different for sure. Bro. Yeah. What's your first, like, football, like, pads, one-on-one type situation you get out there? Okay, so I had a little mix-up when I first got there. Yeah. The school that I went to in Connecticut, mm. so when you transfer to Texas, they have, a, like, a rule where they send a letter out to the school, your previous schools, if you're from out of state. And basically, it's for, like, athletic reasons. If you get recruited, da da da, all this. Well, my athletic director, I'm not gonna speak too much on him. I don't got nothing good to say about him. Um, <laughs> he wrote a little letter. On the letter, he wrote that I moved to Texas for athletic reasons because of COVID. Yeah. So the whole thing with the UIL, my dad had to go to a huge meeting with like all the teams in the district, and they had to vote if I could play or not. In Texas. In Texas, because they were saying that. I got recruited to play there, and I'm not originally from there, so I shouldn't be playing there. Yeah. Well, five games go by my junior year. I'm not playing. Mm. So finally, they, they make a date for this. So my dad goes, and uh, they let me play. Yeah. Man, there's two games left in the season. So my first game, I didn't start, but I think I got in, like, second quarter, and then I played the whole second half. Yeah. And people were like, okay, this kid, because people, were, I'm not going to lie, Connecticut, what, yeah. this kid, Connecticut, like, what yeah. the, he, he not a dog. Like, yeah. So junior year was pretty hard. And then we played a, game, a team called Port Lavaca, okay. district championship, yeah. and I started. And they, they run the uh, triple option. Yeah. 12 tackles, four tackles for loss, two sacks, mm. pass deflection. Mm. Went crazy. Yeah. Won the district championship. Next round, first round of playoffs went crazy. Second round of playoffs went crazy. Third round, we lost at a team called LBJ. Dogs. Yeah. Four or five stars everywhere. <laughs> yeah. They had Andrew McCuba. Uh -huh. He went to Clemson. He, yeah. he at UT now. They had a Latron McCutcheon. He went to USC. Yeah. He at U, U of H now. Some dogs. Yeah. Man, let me tell you something. That's when I, that's when I experienced, man, like recru recruiting at – because, bro – one good game in Texas and your phone gonna be. Yeah. It was crazy. I don't know I I didn't know how to deal with that at first. Yeah. You know what I mean? It really got it got crazy at one point. I <laughs> I was always thinking about people texting me and always like always my head was in my phone all the time. I was mm -hmm. always reaching out to coaches and Yeah, it's getting crazy, bro. Really? Ron, when like when did that first happen for you? Like right after that game y'all lost? Right after our second playoff game, round two, mm -hmm. we played Canyon Lake, and I got home. I woke up in the morning, and I had a message from Stephen F. Austin and Sam Houston. Mm -hmm. And they were just saying, you know, what's up? Yeah. Like, what you looking for? <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm looking for, Coach. <laughs> looking for that full ride. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> Come on now. My grades went there at the point, so, you know, I had to do a lot of work my senior year to, to – um, be eligible for Division One. Mm -hmm. I ended up still not getting making it there, but yeah. you know, gotta put this all through things. In no, life, most so. def, most def. What, so you get to you got a you know okay senior year. They obviously let you play, mm -hmm. whatever the case. What was it like in the off season going into your senior year? What was your mindset like, bro? That was probably like the most locked in I've been in my life. Yeah, bro. When I tell you like. I was so locked in on getting better, going to the gym and lifting, going to the field and running. Like, I was forgetting about other important things in life. Like, I was so addicted to, like, going. Even my mom and dad, you know, like, slow down. Like, yeah. maybe you're working a little too hard, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My grade's going down just a little bit because yeah. I'm not really – I'm coming home and I'm not – the first thing I'm thinking about is going to the gym. I'm trying to lift some weights. Yeah. I go home, get ready, go to the gym, lift some weights. I come back. I'm tired. I'm taking a nap. I'm waking up. I'm trying to go work out again. Yeah. Go to the gym, I work out again, come back, go to sleep, wake up, school the next day. I'm dreading going to school. Yeah. Because I'm just trying to get a pump. I was I was a meathead. No, I believe it. <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. I was 
Yeah. And then um, I went to hella camps during the spring. Mm -hmm. The junior year, that spring, I went to hella camps. No camps you go to? Uh, I went to a mega camp in Dallas. That was a huge camp. Like, I'm talking, you go, you run to 40, and then you get, like, three reps. Mm. There was hella kids at the camp. Thousands. Sam Houston, U of H, TCU, SFA. Uh, I got invited to a Jackson State one. Mm. I got invited to, uh, which else did I go to? I said Sam Houston, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, shit. That, those are probably the only ones right now that I could think about. Yeah, bro. I went to a lot of camps, bro. A lot of mega camps, but like strictly universities. Yeah, I went to a I went to a handful of camps and they were all day after day. Mm -hmm. Day after day. Hard work. My dad driving me. He driving me to Houston the next next day he driving me to Dallas. Mm. We what part of Texas was you on? In Corpus. Okay. So I was pretty far yeah. away from yeah. me. So I'm down there. Yeah. So if I gotta go to a camp I really wanna get noticed, I'm driving four or five hours up there. That's tough. Bro, I had a weekend where uh, I went to a TCU camp. The man, Fort Worth. Yeah, Fort yeah. Worth. I went to the camp. And the week after that, I had a mega camp in Dallas. I went to Dallas. People get this messed up. Dallas and <laughs> Dallas, Fort Worth, they not. Uh, yeah, P yeah it's, not, it's not the same. <laughs> it's not the same, brother. Yeah. It's not the same. You know what I'm saying? People get yeah. mad. If you're from Dallas and you say Fort Worth, they're going to they get mad. Yeah. So I was in Dallas. And I did a camp. It was at 6 p.m. Mm. I'm in my bed. I'm about to go to sleep. And my dad shakes me. And he's like, yo, that TCU coach, I invited you to the camp. Why don't you come to a private workout? Mm. The next day at 9 a.m. <laughs> it's like 8 p.m., bro. Yeah. And we like two hours away. Yeah. So I'm thinking like, damn, I'm trying to get there early. I'm trying to look. <sighs> bro. Had to get there. It was a good. It was. It was a little. It was like an unofficial visit. I had a little private workout. And they took me around the campus, showed me everything. It was pretty cool. Mm. But it's just, bro. That's how it was. All spring, all summer, just camps back to back to back to back. Mm. Yeah. And what year was that? Twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one. And then they went to like the chip the year after, right? Yes. Yeah, so yeah, could my you, senior year. Could you see what they was building at that time? Yeah. Let me tell you something. The coach there, who was the Sunny Dykes, yes, yeah, the boy. coach there. When I went to a private workout, they were uh, like bragging about how you know he's been there for so long. They're the only Texas team yeah. to have that head coach for that long. Year after that, he's out of there. <laughs> I was like, wow, ain't that convenient? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ain't that something? Huh? Yeah. Then but, you go to SMU. What he went? Yeah, SMU, SMU. He must have got fired because that's a that's a yeah he got down. he got he got let down yeah because you're you're not that's a that's a level down going yeah, yeah 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 that's crazy and then all the coaches that recruited me from TCU yeah. left to all different schools yeah that's how it go yeah that's how it goes damn that was tough tough but they went to the chip the year after yeah the Quentin John what the Quentin yeah Quentin, Quentin Johnson, Johnson the receiver yeah yeah uh, Matt Duggan Duggan yeah. Um, Kendrick Miller got drafted to the same team. Did shit since. Man. Yeah, they had. <laughs> they did shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah Quentin Johnson. Yeah, he's had him on my fantasy team. I want to talk about that. Yeah, he. Uh, he. Uh, yeah. He was. You know, like, I hope he do good. Cause I I was rooting for bro, but I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I'm always rooting for them them dudes that have a rough little first year. I'm yeah. Rooting for them to have a bounce back, but you know. Sometimes I'm meant to be, man. I wouldn't be drafting him. That's somebody you leave on the, I'm saying, in the, in the free agents of their fantasy. And if that's just, someone you just leave at the bottom. Of, <laughs> that's someone you just leave. He just, you don't even look at him. Someone you see his prayer profile, you just keep going. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's someone you just leave. That's what I'm uh, saying. Man. Yeah, not for sure. So you get, you get the, um, all these camps you going to your senior year. Yeah. First game. Who y'all play first game? Senior year. Gregory Portland. Yeah. How was that? Whooped them. <laughs> <laughs> crazy work. Yeah. When y'all watching this, crazy work. Yeah. Go look it up on YouTube. I forgot what it was. 49 14. I forgot. 49 14. Yeah. Who's y'all quarterback? My boy Bryce Burnett. Where he go? 
Never mind. Don't even matter. <laughs> don't even matter. Who's the best player on that team? You think offensively? Offensively? Yeah. Defensively, I'm sure you're probably gonna say you. Yeah. <laughs> so who offensively? My boy. Senior year? Yeah. Okay. I'll say this dude was a sophomore my senior year, yeah. my boy Luke Medina. Mm-hmm. When I tell you he's a freak of nature, yeah. shout out Luke, a freak. When I say he's 170 and he's squatting like four, a, I said 450, like 500 for reps. You're not supposed to be able to do it for reps. 325 for reps on bench right now. He was a sophomore when I was a senior, yeah. and he was running all over everybody. Crazy balance. Running back? Yes. Power lifter now. I believe it. I believe it. That's what you But the year before that, that, the best offensive dude, we had a dude go to USC, and it was Ty Buchanan. Tackle, mm. offensive tackle. He's at okay. Texas Tech now. Yeah, I heard of him. Yeah. Dang. How big ain't he like? He's like six seven, bro. Yeah, he's you up there, bro. Yeah. How was it going against him in practice? It was cool. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying like, <laughs> it was cool. What, what was it? Split? Was he like making you better? Or? I'm gonna be honest. The practice in Texas high school is totally different, bro. Yeah. You not you not you not going live. What y'all doing? You not hitting. We not. What's I do? We thud in every day. Really? Barely. Why? That's just how that's how my program ran, bro. I don't know. That's how my high school ran. I never agreed with it, but we never hit. So never. Do you think And that played a big aspect. Or were you like concerned about how guys are gonna act when they first get hit first game? And they did. They were shell shocked. There were some games where dudes didn't they were getting hit and they were like, Oh, this is what it feels like. Yeah. Do you think the coach was doing that? Because y'all didn't have the depth to replace if somebody got hurt? or the, See, my coaches, so I coach with Coach Danaher, I don't, or I play with Coach Danaher. I don't know if you've ever heard of him, no. but he is the most winningest high school Texas football coach of all time. Really? So he has the most, most wins in Texas football history. At that same school? At that same school. Damn. He's been there, I think it was 37 years, 36 years. Shit. And then our defensive coordinator, Coach Campbell, who ended up after Coach Danaher retired, Coach Campbell took over. Mm. He just retired too. But um, he was there for hella long as well. So our coaching staff has been there for 20-plus years. Yeah. So they've been doing the same thing over and over and over again. Yeah. So when I ask, you know, I'm new, so some dudes have older brothers that played with them. Mm. And I would ask them, nah, this is the, we do the same exact thing in practice. That we do the same offense, same defense, same drills, same workouts. It's the same. Don't change no nothing. Don't change nothing. And no one, no one, no one questions it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's tough. Like 30, 30, 32 years, the thirty-three years consecutive yeah. playoff runs, district champions every year. That's tough. I think this past year is the only one we won district champions. That's tough. That's tough. Blow the first team out. How's the rest of the senior year looking for you? Yo, we so. Uh, Third game, win first game, win second game. Third game, we're whooping this team from New Mexico City. Mm. They're not, they're not good at all. Whoop they're them. not good at all. Not good at all. Whooping them. Yeah. I get a down block, running down the line. The running back comes, cuts me. I tear my MCL. Mm. So I missed. What about, game is this? It's the third game. Okay. So I missed about. I think I missed three, four games. I got. I forgot what they called. They gave me a shot in my knee. Cortisone shot, bro. They like took blood, took my blood, and like separated the blood cells, and then like mixed it with something, and then put it back into my knee. What? The but it's legal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just made it legal like not too long ago. Yeah. Because back in the day, a bunch of old pro uh, basketball and football players used to leave the country to go do it. Yeah, I, I remember they said like LeBron and Kobe would go. But do it. But they made it legal now, okay. and the dude that was doing it used to be the Olympic team doctor for the Spurs. Okay. So I trust him. Yeah, you don't got no and choice. it yeah. worked. <laughs> Feel me? Yeah. You were supposed to be out six eight weeks. Yeah. I was back in three. Yeah. Three four. I was back three four with pads. Yeah. Now kid. Now the last game that I missed, I was practicing that whole week, but I didn't. Pl- I didn't play in the game. Yeah. I came back on my birthday. Mm. Crazy work. 
Had to. Crazy. We played a rival from the city. They're called Miller. Mm. Um, they're looked at as like a like a trash talking school. Mm. They're probably they they're, they're known to be dirty and things like that. So <laughs> we yeah. really had to put it on them. No ditty. But, uh, <laughs> no ditty. Yeah. We had to. That game actually we played in two days. So the first day. We played like a first quarter, a quarter and a half, and it started downpouring, mm. and it was lightning. So they delayed you the game. Gotta, as soon as it's lightning, you gotta get off the field. Yeah. We're waiting every time there's lightning, you gotta push it back. Thirty minutes. That's what happened with Franklin Pierce. Yeah. So, yep. Yeah, sure. Terrible. So it got to like ten thirty. Yeah. Like, what are we doing? And we whooping them by like seventeen right now. Yeah. Touchdown after touchdown. So we seen what we're doing. They're like, we trying to play tomorrow, but we can't play at our home field because the band has like a band, whatever you call it, like a band thing yeah. next down the field. So they say, let's play it. So basically we're in Corpus is the big city. And then there's like little cities like outside of it. Yeah. I'm from, Ca I live in Cal Allen. Yeah. So I'm like outside. Miller is dead in the city. Mm. So all the schools dead in that city play at one stadium is Buck Stadium. Mm. So they say, you know what, there's nothing going on Buck Stadium. We could play over there. So now they want to play on their home field. Mm. Let's do it. <laughs> so we went to sleep, woke up the next morning, played another half of football, and whooped them again. <sighs> and whooped them again. I think you might have my, like my birth. Nah, never had. Give me some time. Like, nah, uh, come on, man. Don't play with me. Bro, come on, bro. Don't play with us. Would you play? How, how you play that game? How many sacks you had? Two. <laughs> Tackles was going crazy though. Let me tell yeah. you something. We partied right that night. We had a good time. For the dub yeah. and for the birthday. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was tough. Tough. <laughs> so you finished your senior season. Mm -hmm. So how the offers look? Were you talking to schools during that I had season? I had I had a couple offers already. Yeah, who you had? So I had Jackson State. Talk, talk uh -huh. before you say, talk about that because I know we talked about that earlier in the season. Oh, the Facetime. Yeah, talk about that. So Jackson State. Um, shout out my boy Coach Campbell. First of all, he yeah, always man. But um, one practice, there was a dude, Marcus Weiser. Yeah. He goes to Raging Cajuns right now. Yeah. Now he went JUCO. He graduated the, my sophomore year before I went there. Yeah. He graduated, went to JUCO, and ended up going to Jackson State. Uh huh. Now, the reason he went to Jackson State is because my defense coordinator, Coach Campbell, knew Coach Weeks. Yeah. They're boys. He's from Corpus. So he put him on. So one day I wake up in the morning and I see my boy Marcus got offered from Jackson State. I'm like, oh, oh. what's going on here? <laughs> so I showed up to – so in Texas we have fourth period practice. So yeah. we had workouts in fourth period. What, you, what do you mean? Like, so we had first period class, second period class, third period class, and then fourth period was football. So we'd go to the weight room and lift, or if it was in season, we'd practice. And then we'd have lunch, and then fifth, sixth, seventh period, and then practice again. you all practice twice? Yeah. And so? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, we in fourth period, and I'm like, yo, coach, like, what's up with, with, with Marcus? Uh, he got, I seen he got that Jack State offer. He's like, yep, I was just talking to Coach Weeks um, just before he did that. Yeah. I'm like, what's the word? <laughs> and he's like, because, he, you know, at HBC, I'm a white guy. He's thinking, like, you're not going to go there. He, <laughs> you go there? <laughs> you go there? What? What? Would you? Coach Pro what? Shador. So he's like, no, nah, hold on. So, bro, at the end of the day, seventh period, I'm leaving, and I'm going to work out, and I get a call from Jackson, Mississippi. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what's this? <laughs> what's this? So I answer, and he's like, hey, it's Coach Weeks, da-da-da, how you doing? So we had a conversation. And then after I hang up the phone, he sends me a camp invitation. Yeah. It's in the summer. So I tell my dad, show him. He's like, now we up there. We up there. They give mm. you an invitation. We up there. What are we mm. talking about? I don't care how long the drive is. We up. I think it was like eight, nine hours. Oh, my God. <laughs> Your dad was pushing it. He's like, up there. Yeah. My dad. That's one thing, bro. I love my dad so much, bro. If mm. it's something got to do with my future and he knows it's going to take me to the next level, bro, he's doing whatever he can to get me there. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. My mom, too. Yeah. But uh, so we end up going to the camp, and I'm working. You know what I'm saying? I, I first get there. We run in the 40. I'm the only white dude on the field, first of all. <laughs> I'm in the back. I'm, I'm like in the mid. I'm like in the backish line of the 40. 
Coach Weeks come up to me, yo, Logan, go next. We need, we need to talk to you. So I jumped the whole line and go first. Mm-hmm. Everyone's looking at me like, oh, this white kid jumping this. Like, what the yeah. fuck is he doing here, right? Yeah. So I went my 40, you know, go talk to him. He's like, no, nah, next we got individual drills. He's yeah. like, after the end of it, he's like, I don't want you to go too crazy on the individual drills. We already know what you can do. I want to see you against these tackles. Yeah. When we get to these one-on-ones, I want to see what you're doing, what you're working with. I go through the indie. Then we go to one-on-ones. Yeah. I go three for three. <laughs> Yeah. Coach Prime tapped me on the butt two times. Feel me? Good jo- <laughs> I was number. I was wearing number sixteen. Good job, sixteen. Yeah. At the end of the camp, Coach Weeks comes up to me. He's like, you know, meet me in the parking lot with your parents. We need to talk. So we meet him in the we meet him in the parking lot. We talking to him. He's like, you know, we're gonna push to offer you. Everyone, everyone on the staff feels the same way about you. I think we're gonna push to offer you. We drive back. I think two, three days go by, and I get a phone call from Coach Weeks, and I answer. How you doing, coach? My dad's in the shower. I forgot where my mom was. She was in the grocery store or something. Yeah. I'm like, how you doing, coach? He's like, nice to meet you. We got some good news. Boom, boom. You, you free for a face, the FaceTime call. Yeah. I was like, yes, sir. He FaceTimes me. I pick it up. And, you know, he's in the coach's office, and he's like telling me, he's like, I just want to say congratulations, Logan. You got off from Jackson State. Mm. Passes the phone over. They go. It goes <laughs> to my boy, Coach Trevor. Yeah. Congratulations. Or right, Coach Hart. Congratulations. Yeah. And then got to Coach Dion, Coach Prime. <laughs> yeah. He said, Logan, I hope you believe. I said, yes, sir, I do. He said, all right, man, I, I hope to see you soon. We got to get you up here for another visit. Yeah. That was that. That's fire. That was that. That's fire. Yeah. You know, that was right there. That was probably, yeah, bro, I was freaking nervous as hell. <laughs> That's Coach Prime. <laughs> I was yeah. I was, bro, my face got red, bro. I was Shitting bricks, bro. That's Coach Prime. I'm, I'm banging on the door telling my dad get out the shower. <laughs> he thinking I'm dying. He come out to the best news of his life. <laughs> Dang. You was probably really going to go there if he didn't leave, huh? Bro, so so I was really supposed to go there, but feel me, my grades and things yeah, like okay. that, I ended up having to go JUCO. Okay. And then once I committed to JUCO, that's when he yeah. got up out of there. Yeah. And then that was that was the... Yeah. <laughs> So what other offers you was messing with besides Jackson State? Sam Houston. Yeah. Um, you know, I had a lot of schools talking to me and then not offering me because, you know, off the field issues, yeah. things like that. But the schools that did offer me, you know, Jackson State, Sam Houston, I had some D2s, you know, Kingsville, UTPB. I had a bunch of – once I started getting um, D2s, that's when the JUCOs really started to come. Yeah. And then I had like three or four JUCOs. And then the one Juco I was going to go to, the coaches actually left and went to another one, yeah. Navarro College. So I ended up committing to Navarro College. Ended up going there for a semester. How was that? Where's that at? It's in Corsicana, Texas. Oh, okay, so it was home. Please. Middle of nowhere. Really? Nah, not even home. Eight hours. I forgot Texas is big as hell. God damn, eight hours. Big as hell. Yeah. So I'm in the middle of nowhere at a Juco. First semester ever in college. <laughs> Tough times, man. Yeah. Tough times. Man. And you you know, you probably seen the last chance you where y'all gotta fend for your own meals. Exactly like that. You, really. I mean, fend for your own meals is type crazy. I mean, we got a <laughs> ca- we got a cafe, but three meals a day. That's it. That's it. You like better. is it better than here? Nah. No way. Not not bro. Yo, bro. When I got here, bro, I thought this shit was the bomb. I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Buffet, you know yeah. you can, you know you want. Oh, you could only get cream, one plate. But you get one plate, bro. They go, you get, you go breakfast. We go to breakfast check. You get one plate of breakfast. You go, can't go up to self serve. They give it to you. Go to you, classes. Bro. Go to lunch. They give you your lunch. Go to practice. Come back. They give you your dinner. And that's it. And that's there ain't no hive to go to at ten. No hive, none of that. You are gonna go back to the cafe? It's gonna be closed. Lights off. <laughs> Yo, bro, we was stealing chicken fingers. Yeah. We was doing everything we could. You feel me? I don't come from a lot of money, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I was doing everything I could to get my hands on some freaking f- some food, some water. Dang. How was the housing situation out there? Housing was amazing. Better than here. Yeah. Crazy. I don't know how. <laughs> I'm saying we had, it's like an apartment building, so you had an upstairs and a downstairs. Downstairs, 
two doors went this way. You had a living room, um, two bedrooms, and then each bedroom had a bathroom. Yeah. So you can either buy out a single, so you'd have a living room, and then you'd have a single room with a bathroom, or you can have a roommate. So there'd be four people like in one little thing. And then upstairs was the same thing. Mm. So, yeah. No, it was, it, living st- situation was sturdy. Yeah, but the food is. Food, a little bad. everything else. How was it? Like, pre- like, as you know, you see coaches fighting each other, yelling at each other. Was it like bro. was it a little better than that? <laughs> nah. <No>. Yo, bro. <laughs> Yo, bro. My, like, my first couple practices, we got into huge fights. Offense versus defense. My linebacker coach got in there. Yeah, bro. It's Fighting the players? Yeah, but we had a D, we we had a D tackle from TCU that uh took his helmet off and threw it at our coach. So our coach went up and got it on with him, and you know you know how that go, they're gonna get the jumping. So for me, <laughs> <laughs> threw the helmet at the coach. Hey, yeah, bro. For what? Bro, I got, bro, I got hit one time, bro. My helmet came off. Homie punched me. Huge, huge freaking scuffle after that. Dude, we got into a bunch of yeah. So y'all fighting in there every day. Damn near. Damn near. How was the politics? Because you know you hear the politics of it, like they bringing in, like you said, the dude from TCU, like they bringing in somebody, like they're gonna tell a high school greatest team yeah, I ever played with. Really? Like like talent wise? Ever? Really? Ever? Who are some people on that team? Like I, my boy Tim Burns from Florida. Yeah. My boy Taz. So I had so our starting defense was straight bounce backs. I think we had two our Mike linebacker, Jordan Smith, he's at Texas State now. Mm. Came out of high school. He went to St. Thomas Aquinas. And then my boy Eddie Tusum, who's at UAB, mm. he came straight out of high school. Those are the, I think the only dudes. Yeah, only dudes on our on the team on the, on the defense that came out of high school. And me. That's ridiculous. The rest of the dudes, you know, we had a we had a, a Louisiana Tech bounce back, Hawaii bounce back, Miami bounce back, uh, damn Tennessee bounce back, UCF bounce back, Buffalo bounce back. We had and everything, bro. And how hard is it fighting for that position when you got somebody that already? I was seen a t- I was a two the whole spring. Really? Yeah. How you get your way up? And so. I, uh, at the end of my first semester, after spring semester, we had an exit meeting. Mm-hmm. And they basically said that, so I was basically paying nothing mm-hmm. to go there. They basically told me that they wanted to take some of my money mm-hmm. because they're bringing in more transfer guys that they need to get money to because they're not going to come here if they don't have enough money. Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay, let me see what the bill is looking like here and there. Blah, blah. And he slides me into my new bill. And I'm like, I'm going to be honest, coach. This ain't going to work. <laughs> I'm be honest, coach. Yeah. And he said, well, if this ain't going to work, then we got a walk-on spot for you. And I was just like, like that? That doesn't even make sense. I was just like, just like that? Like, I already know what's going on in my head. He's cutting me. Yeah. And, bro, I, I was like, are you cutting me? And he's like, bro, you either got to pay this or you can do a walk-on spot or you can leave. Walk-on don't make sense because then you're paying all of it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. So I I said, yeah, I'm out of here. Yeah. He said, good luck to you. He said, I hope you met a lot of good people. I hope you learned, learned a lot of things. Good luck to you. Yeah. I shook his hand. I never talked to him again. I walked out. I called my dad. i never been cut in my life from anything. Yeah. So I was kind of going through it for like – the next couple of weeks that I had left, and uh, I don't know what I was going to do. I was texting a whole bunch of JUCOs. I was texting D2s. I didn't even get in contact with this place until, like, pretty, pretty late into July. Mm. And what went when you get cut? <sighs> like, around this time. Mm. Around so this time. Around, around this April? time last year. April and you don't get contact to July. Yeah, yeah, like the end of April. And you ain't know that whole time. You ain't know. You ain't had no way of man. No, no nothing. I didn't know what the hell I was gonna do. Was your grades better? Yo, bro, I and JUCO, I, I was fake doing my thing. I had like a two point six. 
But you feel me? I had I didn't have a lot of film. Film, yeah, it's been a year. I didn't have a lot yeah. of film. I didn't go to school at all for uh, That's, yeah. that fall because I tore my ACL. Yeah. So I just had spring film, and then everything else was high school. And then there wasn't really a lot of Division One like walk on. Like yeah, we will give you PWO, we give PWO. <laughs> no, I'm good on that, bro. Yeah. I'm on PWO. So it was mostly D two schools in the Texas area. Um. Oklahoma area, Mississippi area, and then, yeah, my boy uh, Aaron Jones from Temple, yeah. he uh, transferred over here, and he basically put me on. He said, you know, we got a guy, or he said, I got a guy, you know, it was my boy. I grew up with him. Yeah. You know, he was really he was a real good player, but he just needs a shot, and they hit me up the next day. Coach Woman was actually at Lincoln University before this. Yeah, yeah. And he offered me at Lincoln when I was at my JUCO. So he came over here to AIC, and I didn't even know that. Yeah. So as soon as he texted me, and he was like, hey, what's going on? And I'm like, what? What do you mean? Like, Because I told him I wasn't going I wasn't going there. <laughs> so I'm like. What, did you not want to go there because you heard what was going on? Or you just, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, did, I do my research. Yeah, yeah. And my dad. Yeah. I got that offer, and I told my dad. Went to my friend's house, came back. My dad said, "Now you're not going there, okay? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, nah, it was over. That, that Benny and Lundy came on, and told me, but it wasn't. It was, yeah, uh, not it, not it. Yeah, nah, not somewhere you wanna put your spend your four years for. Yeah, spend a, a month, maybe. Yeah, maybe know? if that. Yeah, go so on a visit. You went on a visit? No, nah, I'm oh, saying okay. like go on a visit. Yeah, nah, if that. Don't even go on a visit. Go see what's up with the. Just go see Cali. Just see what I'm saying. Cali, That's what I'm saying. saying. Just say you've been just as nah, a come on a visit, not go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> nah, not, not somewhere you, you know I mean, you hang your hat on. So, uh, okay, cool. So, Aaron Jones put you on here. What was the talks like to get you up here? Was you, was you working with it? At first. To be honest, you, you, you looking at it. Connecticut, I'm sure you won. Texas, I'm sure you won. Man. Um, Juco, you said you had a great team. I'm sure y'all won. You looking at our record, pass. That's exactly. Uh, exactly. And I'm not too far from Springfield. Yeah. I'm 40, 30, 45 minutes. Yeah. And I grew up with Tyson. Yeah. I grew up with all these Springfield kids over here. So I wasn't here a lot, but, you know, I was around this area, and I knew about AIC football. Yeah. And I knew they weren't very <laughs> We're in the best situation. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, I'm sure you know about Central, about how they're yeah. kind of a powerhouse. So I, I was working around with a lot of these guys, and it's like, oh, if you're talking crap to somebody on the other team, it's like, oh, you're going to go to AIC. Like, shut up. You're going to AIC. Feel me? We That's who we are. That's – that's that. when I was freshman, sophomore, and we was going to these 707s. Yeah. Yeah. We was talking like that. And this place was just looked at as, you know. Okay. I mean, it wasn't looked at bad, but yeah, you definitely didn't want to. If you were a football player, you definitely didn't want to come here. This ain't your first option. Definitely not. Second or third. Now it should change when Coach Connie pulls. Yeah, up. hey. Don't don't leave that out. Yeah, he is it's the it's man. Completely different. That's the man right there. Yeah, no, he's a dog. That's the man right there. Yeah. That's really who got my attention. Hit me up. He said, "You know who this is?" I said, "No, I don't." <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> uh, he basically gave me the rundown. We were on the phone for like an hour. He gave me some numbers, threw me some numbers. I was like, okay, I'll talk to my parents about it. And I had like three weeks until fall camp. And then, like, I think a week before fall camp, I was like, yeah, I'm going to come. How much of a hustle was it to like get your fast in, get everything in? And get fast, everything bro. In? Well, actually, fast for kind of, it was kind of moving. Yeah. Because once, as soon as, AIC hit me up. Yeah. I uh I went ahead and told my mom, you know, go ahead and take care of that for me. <laughs> go ahead and take care of that. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, so it but we had to pull a plan together real quick because yeah. we drove down here or up here, I should say. We drove up here. Yeah. So we packed a Durango, drove drove up here in two and a half days, and then my parents drove back. Oh. That's tough. And I don't regret it. not one, one, one. Not for sure, not for sure. Nah, I, I don't care what no one say. I love it here. Nah, I, nah, I love it. This is 
He be thinking I'm crazy. I'm, I tell people, he might not agree. I'm gonna get y'all see tattoos on me. Tattoo on you? <laughs> yeah. <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious, though. Yeah, that's a bold statement. What you gonna get? You gonna get the bumblebee? Nah, I might just get. I don't know. Something, something. It gotta be like, detailed though. It can't just be AIC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's gonna be bold AIC. You gotta think like, bro, like this is where you graduate from. This is where you, you know, I mean, you first. How long you been here? Four years. Yeah. See, yeah. So you're gonna be five. I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, that, that, I see a lot of people that do that. I'm saying I, it's just a little different because of AIC. Yeah, that's, that's how people only, think the about it. They thing thinking about that. See, the problem is right, and I don't know if. The coach would even want kids to know this, but if you're looking for a party school, looking somewhere that you're going to have a wave every night, mm-hmm. it's not probably not going to be school for you. Probably going to be very depressed. You're not going to be locked in, and that's it. But if you want to come somewhere where you're just going to school and playing football, mm-hmm. you cool with just being to yourself, you know what I'm saying, chilling, mm-hmm. it's a spot for you, dog. Not a big campus, not a small campus. You know what I'm saying? In the middle, you know I'm know saying that? in the middle. Cool people, cool teachers, great coaches. That's all you need. You know what I'm saying that's all you need, and people and people be they want to party every night away. Yeah, you know I'm saying that. Yes, yeah. I didn't really come to college with that. I'm not the party type of guy. So. I, I did my uh, my deeds in high school. <laughs> I did my deeds. <laughs> I uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that part of your life is done. Yeah. Slow down, yeah. if you will. I'm not I, pretty much done. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, yeah. you're going to, you'll see me, I mean, you probably see me at maybe two functions, like last semester. I'm not going to lie, I haven't been to a college party yet in my four years. Really? Not one. Respect. Not one. Respect. I can't do it. Too much going on? <sighs> yeah. I See, I read people. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they, they're doing the senior week. And I'm graduating next month, and they're doing the senior week. Like, yeah, we supposed to go to New Haven, bar hopping. Ah, I'm good. Probably not going to Bar hopping's not me. Club bar in general is not me. But then they told me it was going to be a free food truck. Oh, now that you got, got you. me. Yeah. So, but I'm still not going to the bar. So, what I'm going to do is, I, told, I already told them. I said, mm-hmm. look, what mm-hmm. I'm going to do is, I'm going to come to New Haven. I made sure I asked by five times, are you sure we get the food truck mm-hmm. first? Yeah, because if you show that there's no food truck, it's going to be problems. I just drove all this way. Get the food truck. Mm-hmm. Y'all go in the bar. I'm going back to the IC. Okay. Y'all be have a good time. Okay. I'm going to grab me a couple sliders, whatever the food truck is, and I'm going to see my way. And you're going to go back. That's all. Okay. That sounds like, see, that sounds like something I would do. You know what I'm saying? Now, I ain't going to lie. I'm definitely taking a, steps in, uh, taking a couple steps into the bar. <laughs> but you Just to see what's going on. Yeah, Just yeah. to see what the vibes is. Yeah. But you're definitely going to see me at that food truck now. Yeah. No, nah, I ain't going to go on. take a step in the direction of the bar. Yeah, bro. I don't really like... To me, I don't really like going out and doing all that. Yeah, clubbing is like, what's the point, man? Yeah, nah. Especially the, where I'm at now, where I got so much stuff going on. Am I gonna go out, yeah. get crazy drunk, wake up the next day at like 1 p.m. Don't feel like doing nothing. Yeah. What are you doing that's productive the next day? And then you're gonna wake up the day after that, and it's gonna feel like the weekend is and a Monday, and you have to go to school, and you got all this shit to do, and now you just it just fucks up your whole week. No, nah, I can't do it. Ain't for me. How was your um, first semester here? Yeah, I see. Tough. Yeah. Tough. Wow. I don't know, man. It's the far, it's the longest and farthest I've been from my from my parents. Yeah. So that played a huge part, um, and just you know, I wasn't really getting the playing time I would want to on the yeah. field, but you know that's behind me now. Yeah. It's just freshman things like that. But it was definitely uh, on the field stuff was definitely getting to me, and it was definitely affecting me off the field. Yeah. And then off the field stuff was getting to me, and it was definitely affecting me on the field. Almost done. So uh, it was pretty tough, you know, but fought through it. You know what I mean? That's all that matters. And then this semester I came with a much more clearer mindset was what we're going to have going on. Yeah. So. What's your, you got a specific number you want? I was 50 this past year, but see, JJ want that number one or that number zero. I'm trying to get that 15. Yeah. But seven is also free, too. And seven is my number. They call me LK7. Who got seven last year? Sabah. 
It's about there, yeah. And it's free. And I'm That's trying to want. get that. You were seven, you Mike with nine. That's what I'm that's saying. Nice. You feel me? Tyson six. Yeah, that's nice. Six, seven, nine. Yeah. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. I could do that. I could pull mm -hmm. that off. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? What's your goals for this upcoming season? I need 10 championship. <laughs> Please talk about it. What are you talking about? I just about? need one. I just need one. What are you one. talking about? We're going to get a couple. Yeah, I'm not. I might not be here for all that, but but you gonna hear about it. I would love. I just would love one for me. You gonna get one. So I just need one. We gonna get you one. That's all I need. That's I'm all an, I, need. I, I need a damn ring. Have you, know you ever won a championship? No. No. Yeah, me either. Yeah. Freshman year, I didn't go to the playoffs. Sophomore year, I didn't go to the playoffs. Junior years, junior year, lost in the fourth round. Senior year, lost in the second round. I need just one. That's all I ask. I don't ask for too much. So I don't think I ask too much. There's only one. I'm sorry. Bro, I I got a good feeling about this uh this upcoming season. Yeah, me too. Me too. I like how we You you been at the practices, right? Yeah, the spring practices? Yeah. You be working. Hey, look, this defense is scary. Talk to me. This defense is scary. Talk I'm not to me. Lie. Um in the you know what the crazy part is though? At least since I've been here, I feel like our defense has always been good. Mm -hmm. I feel like in the past, um, Pre Conti, um, mindset wise, we would just break down because our offense wasn't as good. Mm -hmm. Explosive, able to put points, year. keep on the. <laughs> even the year before that, you know what I'm saying? The years before that, like we just wasn't able to stay on the field. Oh, yeah. Last year, a little bit of the same thing, a little better, a little better from what I, I promise you was worse in the past. Uh, pre worse than what? What last year was, offensively. Well, I feel last, year that? I, uh, last year, offensively, wasn't. I'm not talking. No, yeah, no, no. Yeah, yeah. We my just teammates for me, but I'm yeah. just saying, like. The pieces wasn't put together. We just had to figure it out. We was getting stops. Yeah. And we were sitting on the bench. Yeah. And sudden and change. Yeah. But. That, but Pun alert, pun alert. That come with the game. Sudden change, sudden change. We were very young on offense last year. Huh? Very young on offense last year. Very young. This year, I feel like we're much. We got a more nah, I feel like we're going to be, that whole O-line going to be. Uh, revamped. That's all it was. Yep. O-line, you know what I'm saying, and just the quarterback. But you feel me, that's, a, that's the man, Coach Connie, yeah. you see what he doing. Bro, I, t I think I told him, I said, bro, we've never had this many O-line ever coming at one time. Ever. <sighs> ever. You see the recruits coming out. Bro, ever. You see him coming. Come on, bro. I think you said we got 15 coming in. So Lyman? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we got like 30-something overall, Come like on, players. Man. That's all we need. It's gonna be a good one. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a good year. Some I, some 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 transfers. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait. We're gonna be good. Listen, I can't wait. It's gonna, gonna be a special good. year. It's mm -hmm. gonna be a special Chippensburg year. Chippensburg first first game of the year. It's gonna be tough. Be tough. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be a good game. <sighs> Who are you telling? What's your what's your major? Exercise science. What you wanna do you wanna go to the league? Yeah. Is that the goal? Yeah. Yeah. One hundred percent. Um would you at F L C F L is it gotta be One hundred percent. I mean you know, shoot for the stars. Yeah. What's going to happen? You, you're going to land on the moon. Yeah. So I want to play some type of pro football in my life. Yeah. But obviously NFL is my top goal. Would you do that arena football and all that? Nah. Bro, I love football so much that if you pay me to do it, you're going to see me there. Okay. Okay. If I can make a living out of doing this, Let's do it. I'm going to do it. Okay. Now, backup plan. Uh, I told you how I was a meathead. Yeah. <laughs> so I've always loved strength and conditioning, so I'm trying to be a strength and conditioning coach. Yeah. I'm trying to start. I'm trying to start somewhere at a high school as a coach coach. Yeah. And then go work my way to the collegiate level, try to be a strength and conditioning coach, a trainer, things like that. That would be hard. That would be hard. Yeah, it's my Come goal. Come back to AIC and be a strength and conditioning coordinator. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that'll be a good one. That's that's tough, man. Listen, Logan, appreciate you coming on. We're trying to get this done for a minute. Hell yeah, so, bro. Man, I appreciate you coming on and giving me your side of your life. Hell yeah. We're going to have a special year. Special, Are bro. Are you staying up here this summer? Or you back nah, this I got to go back to my parents, bro. Yeah, I already know, bro. It's a long way. You know bro, I see my parents like five, four or five weeks out the year. Yeah. So I got, yeah, no. got a month to go home. I'm going to go see them. Yeah. I understand. Logan, appreciate you coming on, man. Appreciate you having me, bro. Got anything to say to anybody before you get out of here? Chase your dreams. Most deaf. Most deaf. I'm your host, Salim Messiah, and we out.